Today is the ninth day of our Novena of Hope. Over the last eight Mondays, we heard a great deal said about the new evangelization. We heard that evangelization basically is sharing the love that God has for us with others. We also heard that every baptized Catholic is called upon to participate in the new evangelization. That is to say, each and every one of us is called upon to evangelize others, to share our experience of God's love for us with others. Shortly after I was ordained in 1970, I went to the Academy of Music with five of my confreres to see the play The Fiddler on the Roof. The production was very well done. On our way home that evening, we stopped for coffee. As we sat at the table, right in our restaurant, we shared with one another our thoughts, our feelings, our insights that we had from seeing the play Fiddler on the Roof. What we did in the restaurant that night typifies, it models, the process of evangelization. We had a rich experience, we personalized that experience, and shared it with others. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, if we want to evangelize others, if we want to share with others our experience of God's love, then first of all, we have to experience God's love in our lives. The fact that God loves us is very evident. When God looks down upon us from heaven, he sees our brokenness, our brokenness which we have no way of healing. So out of God's love for us, the Lord sent to us his only begotten son to come and live among us, to take on himself our sins and our transgressions, Sins and transgressions are the root cause of our brokenness for which Jesus suffered and died. But a suffering and death was not an empty suffering and death. It was a redemptive suffering and death. By his wounds, we are healed. By suffering and death, we are redeemed from our sins. So it's very evident that God loves us. But what can we do to make this love come alive in us? So we not only know that God loves us, but we can actually experience the love that God has for us in our own lives. How can we make this happen? How can we make this happen? We can happen, make it happen by prayer. We can make it happen by prayer because prayer is one of the best ways that we have that can transform our understanding of God's love for us to actually experience the love that God has for us. Prayer is actually a conversation with our God. In prayer, we talk to God. In prayer, we listen to God. When we were in grammar school, we learned that there are four ends to prayer. And they are adoration, a word that begins with A. Contrition, a word that begins with C. Thanksgiving a word that begins with T, and supplication, a word that begins with S. So we want to remember the four ends of prayer. The mnemonic is ACTS, A-C-T-S. And we can use this to help us speak to God. In prayer, we can tell God that we adore him. 
that we adore him as our creator and our sustainer in life. In prayer, we can tell God that we're sorry for the times we transgressed him by our sins. In prayer, we can tell God, thank you. Thank you for the many graces and blessings he has showered upon us, which are many. In prayer, we can ask God for additional graces and blessings for ourselves and for others so we may be able to deal with some challenges in life in a positive and creative way. So we can see that praying to God, speaking to God, is a very easy thing to do. But now we have to quiet ourselves down and listen to the Lord. At times, that could be a bit challenging. A bit challenging because frequently we can't decipher or clearly understand exactly what God is telling us in life or in prayer, in inspirations of grace. However, there are daily devotionals written, devotions like Jesus Calling, which are written in a way that looks like and sounds like God is speaking to us. And so I suggest that we can use a daily devotional such as Jesus Calling to help us hear and to respond to God speaking to us. Listen to today's entry from Jesus Calling. Trust me in the depths of your being. It is there that I live in constant communication with you. When you feel flustered and frazzled on the inside, do not get upset with yourself. You're only human, and the swirl of events going on all around you will sometimes make you feel overwhelmed. Rather than scolding yourself for your humanness, remind yourself that I am both with you and within you. I am with you at all times, encouraging and supportive rather than condemning. I know that deep within you, where I live, my peace is your continual experience. Slow down your pace of living for a time. Quiet your mind in my presence. Then you will be able to hear me bestowing the resurrection blessing. Peace be with you. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, this beautiful reflection from Jesus Calling is based on the Word of God. It comes from the Word of God from Colossians. To them, God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It's based on the Word coming from the Gospel of St. Matthew. And teaching them to obey everything, I have commanded you, and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. That reflection is based on a word that comes from St. John's Gospel. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, we can easily see how a daily devotional such as Jesus Calling can help us to understand and experience what God is saying to us in life. And we can personalize it. So I suggest that we pray this way every day. That we pray speaking to God. We pray listening to God. Because if we do that prayer every day for 15 minutes, 
which when all is said and done is not a terribly long amount of time, if we do it every day for 15 minutes, become more aware not only that God loves us, but would experience his peace, his healing, his strength, God's love within us. And we can experience the love of God in ourselves, we're better able to share that love with others. Today as we bring our novena of hope to a close, pray for the grace and the wisdom to make a commitment. To make a commitment just for the next 15 days. From August 1st to August 15th, the celebration of the Assumption of Mary into Heaven. And during these 15 days, make the commitment that no matter what, we are going to pray 15 minutes every day, speaking to the Lord and listening to the Lord. Using a mnemonic of Acts to explain to God what's happening in our lives, and then perhaps using a daily devotion such as Jesus Calling to hear and personalize what Jesus and God is speaking to us. At the end of those 15 days, just quiet down and ask ourselves, am I more aware, not only that God loves me, but I actually experience the love of God in my heart? I believe the answer to that question will convince us that if we pray in this way every day of our lives, 15 minutes speaking to God and listening to God, become more aware and experience more deeply God's personal love for us, which make us better able to share that love with others. May God be praised.